Coach, if you wouldn't mind, we'll have you for 10 minutes. Coach, if you can give a quick opening statement, and we'll take some questions from there. Yeah, uh, first of all, glad to be back. Uh, I think this is the second year in a row I've been the leadoff batter, kind of like that. Uh, you know, we've got three of our team leaders here with us. Uh, Earl Lawson, Mike Travis Adams. Uh, it's two guys that had a chance to uh, go out early, came back. Marcus Davis, one of our receivers, one of our team leaders, is here. Uh, both, all three of those guys played active roles in winning the SEC Championship in 2013 and really provided great leadership. Uh, really looking forward to this year. Uh, you know, offensively, you know, our goal is to get back to playing at a fast pace. Uh, we have to execute at a higher level than we did last year. We've always taken great pride in that. Defensively, you know, we finished the season strong. Last year, the second uh, half of the year, we had a lot of carryover with our new defense coordinator, Kevin Steele. And uh, so really looking forward to coaching this bunch uh, this year. Questions? Quarterback, does. How's the quarterback spot looking? Yeah, our quarterback spot, you know, we have the three guys competing for the, the job. I uh, really have an open mind about that going into fall camp. Uh, the good thing is all three, I feel like, can run our offense. But it's just going to be a matter of uh, you know, figuring out who's going to give us the best chance of winning. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can name a guy earlier in, in uh, fall camp rather than later. But uh, we're going to be 100% sure that we do that. We do have a good plan, I feel like. Uh, putting our guys in uh, competitive situations, you know, early in fall camp. All right, back left. Just, I think it was not long after you took over that you recruited uh, Zach Cunningham out of Pinson Valley, who ultimately went to Vanderbilt. Just kind of what do you remember from recruiting him and just ultimately how things kind of played out? Yeah, I remember he was a very good football player. Um, and he was a fine young man. And uh, from what I understand, he's doing uh, very good at Vanderbilt. That just surprised me. Back left again. Gus, uh, what about playing a, a big time opponent in your season over? How does that get you guys charged up for the season? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we're playing Clemson. Um, you know, they'll be one of the better teams in the country. Uh, they have one of the better players in the country, and the quarterback, Sean Watson, not the best player. And uh, so we definitely have our work cut out for them. They got a lot of guys back from their, um, you know, their run last year where they came close to winning the whole thing. Uh, we're playing at home. That's, that's a good thing. Uh, you know, this offseason, anytime you're playing a big opponent, you know, that helps you as far as a motivation standpoint. Uh, and we'll figure out where we're at early, too. And I think that, that's good. Uh, but I know they're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. Questions? I, I know you've talked about it some, but uh, uh, contrast the feeling last year coming into this and uh, how do you use it as a learning yeah, I mean, obviously last year, you know, it was a little bit different coming in um, from the standpoint of expectations as far as that goes. And, you know, we didn't get it done. Uh, you know, we lost close games. In this league, you've got to win the close games. The two previous years, you know, we were one of the best teams in the country at winning close games. Last year, we did. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of experience coming back. I feel very good about our players uh, from a leadership standpoint. I feel very good about our staff that we have coming back. You know, we're in a good spot. You know, our thing this year is earning, and uh, you know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it one game at a time, like we did in 2013. We'll see what happens. And back around the corner. You talked about expectations. What are reasonable expectations for fans to have for the level of success for your team this year? Well, like I said, our thing's going to be earning. You know, we're going to take it one game at a time. Uh, we're going to try to improve each game, and we're going to see what happens. I'm not going to sit here and make predictions other than the fact that I really like our team. I really like our staff. Um, you know, offensively, we didn't didn't play well last year, and it really was a rare. Usually, our offenses, um, you know, executed at a high level. We played fast. We're going to get back doing that. We'll be much improved on offense. Defensively, um, you know, we got a lot of things to build upon. Like I said, we finished strong last year. We got a lot of guys coming back. Our defensive coordinator. Very similar as far as the scheme standpoint as last year, so there's a lot of carryover. But we got to go out there and earn it. Uh, we played one of the toughest schedules in college football again this year, uh, especially if you look at our early um, our early schedule. You know, we got five home games starting out, and uh, we're playing a very tough schedule. So we're going to have to earn it, and I'm looking forward to coaching this bunch and seeing what happens. Mark, we're here in the last. Coach, it's how important is Carl Boston to you? 
Say it again. Carl Lawson, how important is he to you? Yeah, he's an impact player. Um, you know, Carl's been banged up the last couple of years, and he's as healthy as he's been. Um, he has the ability to change a game when he's healthy, and um, you know, right now he is, and I expect him to be this year. And um, you know, so that's exciting. You know, going this year with him. Is it right here in the corner? Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. People talk about your offense, rightfully so, but um, you, you mentioned your defense having something to build upon from last year. Do you feel that there's maybe more pressure on that side of the ball this year than on the offense that's maybe a little bit different than what you've been used to? You know, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I think, um, you know, they're going to go about it. I think they'll be a confident bunch. Um, they had a very good spring. They were flying around having fun. Had a very good spring, so I'm just looking forward to, to watching those guys and seeing what we can do with defense. Right side of the aisle, who's sure. uh, so You've had a lot of recruiting success on the D line the last couple of years, um, certainly with Marlon coming in and then firing up maybe as sophomores. This year, that unit really takes the next step up to be along with Alabama, LSU, some of the elites in the conference at that position. You know, we, we feel very good about our defensive uh, front. Uh, we have a lot of experience. Like I said, the two guys that we brought with us today both had opportunities to, uh, to come out in the NFL. I expected both those guys to be pretty high draft picks. They chose to come back uh, with the young guys that you talked about. Um, you know, I think we got a chance to be pretty good up front on the defensive side. You all know how this league works. It's a line of scrimmage league. Anytime you can be uh, very good up front, um, you know, that helps your chances. Second row on the left. Coach, you already mentioned the five home games to start the season. Do you see that as an advantage or a disadvantage to your players? No, I think it's a, a very big advantage for us to play at home. Um, you know, we, like I said, we got a veteran team. Uh, they're looking forward to it. I know our fans are looking forward to it. Uh, we're very happy to be at home. You guys, combining two questions into one. Talk about your offensive line and how that's going to impact your running game. Well, our offensive line, the good thing is they all have – Experience, all five of them. Now we move some guys around playing different positions, but there's nothing better than the experience up front. Uh, we run the football. We're a run play action team. For us to be successful, we have to be effective running the football. And, but we feel good about those five guys. And uh, Coach Hand, our new office line coach, has um, really gelled with them. Uh, I think they're in a good spot. And I think uh, they'll have a chance to, to improve throughout the year. And your running game. Yeah, our running game. Um, you know, that's where it starts with us able to run the football downhill. Uh, feel good about where we're at from a running back standpoint, coupled with our H-back. Our H-back's very critical to our success uh, running the football. And uh, with those five guys, you know, that's that's uh, that's who we are. Okay, so on your front row on the left. Okay, guys. You guys, you haven't had many seasons in which you had a returning starting quarterback, and now, you know, obviously you're in the quarterback battle again. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you have to face from a coach's perspective having quarterback battles that last in a fall camp? Yeah. And, you know, do you feel like having a your first year starter is a little bit, maybe a, an all season talking point is a little overrated because you've had so much success with first year guys? You, you know, uh, like you said, we, we've been here and done this before. You know, 2013, we were in a similar situation that we were wide open in the quarterback position. And of course, Nick Marshall won it with about two weeks to go in fall camp. Um, so, you know, from the standpoint that we got three guys that I think can effectively run our offense, I think that's the positive. Um, the challenge is figuring out which guy is going to give us the best chance of, of winning. And, uh, you know, we got a good plan going into uh, fall camp to put them in competitive situations. Um, and we'll see what happens. We have time for one more question. Uh, there's been a pretty big void left at wide receiver. Uh, who can we expect to see step up in the Clemson game at Auburn? Yeah, you know, Marcus Davis is, is really our leader. Tony Stevens is a guy that uh, has made some plays. He's played since he's been a, uh, a freshman. Jason Smith's a guy that made some plays. Uh, Stan Pruitt is a guy that's kind of been banged up a lot of the time. He's been he's healthy now. He's got some explosive playability. Um, and then we've got some talented freshmen. And uh, those talented freshmen are going to have to play this year. It's just going to be a matter of how quick they can grow up. Uh, but that position in the future, I think, will be a strength of Okay, Coach. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.